Hello, welcome to lesson seven, exercise one. We're going to write a program and we're going to ask the user to enter their favorite month of the year. Uh, and we'll do it by entering numbers. So we'll use the number one for January, the number two for February and so on. The number 12 will be in December, just like a calendar. And we're going to use a switch statement, which we've learned about to output the following, depending on what the user entered into the keyboard. So if the user enters number one, for instance, then the output will be January is my favorite month. If the user outputs uh, 12, then we will output December is my favorite month and everything in the middle, you know, the number six will be for June and so on. So the important thing to remember with the switch statement is that it's just a different way of accomplishing what can almost certainly be done with if statements. But if you have a long list of things that you're comparing, a long list of possibilities, then the switch statement looks a little bit cleaner and is a little bit easier to read in most cases than a whole bunch of uh, if or else if statements. So what we're going to do here is import the Java uh, scanner class, which we've done many times before. And then we will create our scanner object. We're going to name it input. That's going to be our keyboard input. And then we'll create a variable called month. We're just initializing it to the number one. It's just a dummy initialization. But this is going to end up holding what we read in from the keyboard. Then we print out the following text. Enter your favorite month of the year. Uh, one being January, etc. And then we read the input. Now before you actually read the input, we want to check to see if the next item on uh, in the keyboard is actually an integer. So if that is true, then we'll go ahead and read in the integer from the keyboard and store that into our variable that we have called month. Of course, it's an integer because we're reading in the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 12. All right, now we can actually do the comparison. So we have a switch statement. Here's the switch and the variable that we're comparing against. Uh, the variable of interest is month, so that goes in parentheses. We open a curly brace. And we'll have a closing curly brace way down below, but I'm going to show you case one here without cluttering everything up. Everything up. Case one means if the, the month is equal to the number one, then we'll do the following thing. We'll print out my favorite month is January. And then the break statement tells Java, okay, once we've hit case one, then bail out of the switch statement completely. So now we can go down, let me make this a little bit bigger. We can go down and see everything that we put in to the switch here. We have case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you can see the only difference between any of these case statements is what we print out. Here's my favorite month is March, my favorite month is April and May and so on. The numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, are really just the different cases uh, or the different values that this uh, variable can have. That's what we hope anyway. The user is going to enter between 1 and 12. So we cover all of those cases. When a case is triggered, let's say the user enters number three, then we'll, this is false, so we'll skip that. This is false, so we'll skip that. If we actually enter the number three, we'll hit this case, we'll print this out, and the break statement tells Java, okay, once you've hit that, bail out of that uh, switch statement entirely. And if you notice, the opening curly brace is starting the switch block. And if you go down past number 12, the corresponding uh, closing braces is the end of that switch block right there. So whenever you hit one of these break uh, keywords, it's telling Java, okay, we've completed the switch statement, break out and continue program execution after the closing curly brace of our switch statement. So you see, um, you know, it's a matter of debate. All of this could be done with if statements, but I think having a switch here and then case one, two, three, four, it's very easy for your eyes to zero in on the different options available and maybe a little bit easier to read your code. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. We'll save it and run it. Enter your favorite month of the year. If we enter one and hit enter, my favorite month is January. Number two, my favorite month is February. We don't need to do them all. We'll hit number seven, my favorite month is July. Let's go ahead and do December 12. My favorite month is December. And so when we, when we uh, capture the input, the switch statement just goes until it finds the case where the number here is equal to whatever the variable is up there. When that happens, we execute the code that's inside of here, and then we hit the break statement, we bail out of the switch, and then we're done. So it's just a little quick exercise to show you how you would actually use a switch statement. Um, some programmers use them a whole lot more than others, but a lot of people just like to use if statements, which can also be done. Uh, you know, I can put a bunch of ifs together that says if month is equal to one, then do something. If month is equal to do, it is equal to number two, do something. Else if, 
month is equal to three, do something else, and so on. Some people just prefer to use this because it's really good when you have a long list of numeric values that you're comparing to your variable. So make sure you understand this and then move on to the next section where we will continue learning about program flow and execution in Java.